I'm going to be reading the entire B-movie script. Not because I'm forced to, but because I want to, and probably it'd be funny. And voice reveal. Incoming. Well, you probably could tell. Anyway, I'm going to be reading the B-movie script. Here I go. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because the bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's check it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello. Barry? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use this. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's a graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. Going here. You got a lint. You got a lint. Yeah. You got lint on lint on. Yeah. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be on. We'll be in row eight. One hundred thousand. Eight. Bye. Barry, I told you to stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam, Barry. Is that... Is that fuzz gel? A little special day. Graduation. I never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked to run the hive. You did come back different. Hey, Barry... Artie, you growing the mustache? Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. S you sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a little bit of pomp. Under the circumstances... Well... Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome. New Hive Aud 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 graduating class of 1915. That concludes our ceremonies and begin your career as Hun at Hunex Industries. We will pick our job today. I heard it's just or orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it's like. A little scary. Welcome to Hunex, a division of Hun. D Hun I'm dyslex. Hunex. Dyslexia. Hunexico. And part of Hex the Hexagon group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work here for your whole life. Honey brings when our valent pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret for formula is automatically color corrected, scented, adjusted, bubble con contorted into this soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right. You're right. At Hunnex, we consistently strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bee bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the crumb. What does it do? Oh, a ca catches that little strand of honey that hangs off you, hangs after you pour it, saves us millions. Can anyone work on on the crumbin? Of course, most bees' jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it is done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to happy to know the bees as a species haven't had one haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? Well, she'll tr- Well, wi- Dyslexia. Well, she'll try. Wow, that blew my mind. 
What's the difference? How can you say that? One job is forever. That's an insane choice to have to, have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, they've never told us that. Why would you question anything? We're bees. I lost my spot. Oh, there. Uh, we're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You think maybe things are work a little too well around here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the, clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it is like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying to... Flying who knows where. Doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps unless you're wearing it, the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't those our cousins, too? Distant, distant. Look at, the, look at these two. A couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It, it must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had my paw... He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd... I never, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities? I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today. Wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us. But... Maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going zero nine zero zero at J Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what zero nine zero zero means. Hey, Honex, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what's what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but I only get one. But you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You get that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, it's the more I think about it, maybe the honey field isn't just isn't right for me. You know what I, you know you were thinking of what? Making animal, balloon animals? That's a bad job. A guy for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure. He wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm trying to... I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're gonna be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an, an ant that do. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll price my throu throucks, shave my antennae, shack up a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt B, pouring stirrer, front desk hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What do you get? Picking Kurt out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We're ready. Make your make your choices. You want to go for? You want to go first? No, you go. Oh my. What's available? Restaurant attend attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance you're getting the cr the crumen? Sure. You're on. I'm sorry, the Crowman's just closed out. Wax Monkey's always open. The Crowman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. M makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another, another one dead. Another dead one. Deadly. 
the de dead fight. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's a life. Ooh. Ooh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt, be porister. Humming, inspect humming inspector number seven. Lint, coordinator, stripe, supervisor. Might wrangler, Barry. What do you think? I should. Barry? Barry. All right. We've got a, the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to. I have to. Before I go to work the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, it's the Korean deli on 83rd. I guess that's their roses today. Hey, guys. Look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay. Lou, we're take we're gonna take him up. Really feeling lucky, aren't are you? Sign here. Here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful, as always. Watch your brooms. Hockey sticks, dogs, bats, bir birds, bears and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of a root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because it's because it's babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder of and a reminder for you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right. Launch positions. Buzz. 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 Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. One check. A ten eye check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scared out of my shorts check. Okay, ladies, let's move it up. Move it out. Pound those pet. I'm dyslexic. Pet. Pet enemies. You striped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is a blue lavender. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses. 30 degrees, Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side. Kid. It's got a bit of kick. Kick. This is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe dash over there. Pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers. More nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. We don't need those. Copy that visual. Wait, one of those flowers seem to be, seems, seems to be on the move. Say again. You're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was the one on the line. This is the cl coolest. What? What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Gonna hurt. Mom's little boy. You're out of... Way out of position, rookie. Coming at you like a missile. Mi yes, missile. Help me. I don't think... These are flowers. Should we tell him? I don't think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up honey because you're about to eat it. Because you're about to eat it, yeah. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back there. He's gonna sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, granny. What are you doing? Wow. The tension level... Out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in the rain, can't fly in the rain, can't fly in the rain. Mayday, mayday, be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new re resume. I made it out of a fold, br fold out brochure. Brochure, yeah. You see fold outs. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this drapes. Isn't that diab diabolical? It's a fa it's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one, Star Wars? Nah, 
I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flat flabbergasted. I can't believe what I say. There's su the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I preceded global warming. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B! Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. That's, this thing could kill me. Why does, why does his, li his life have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of, capable of feeling. My brochure! There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an, it's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume. Resume, for sure. My whole face could puff up. It makes it make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right, bye. Vanessa, thanks. Vanessa, next week? Yogurt night? Sure, can. You know, whatever. You could put carob chips on, on there. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. Gotta say something. She saved my life. Gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Now, what would I say? I really could get in trouble. It's be law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, you can't. I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I'm fine. I know, I'm just dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you, I just had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That's a little weird. Yeah, I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking with the, I'm talking to a bee. Yeah, the bee is talking to me. I just have to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Uh, same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pr you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry. What we'd have to deal with, anyway. Can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't know. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't. Have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as if they're flying up Madison. He really gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, watermelon? I taught you, said gut a melon. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what kind of, what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way I want. You know how I feel? You do? Sure. My parents wanted to be, wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I really wanted, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My, my only interest is flowers. Our new queen just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all... You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my 
up for the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of, piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, then I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for for before. Oh, yeah. That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave. Pull the chute. Sound, it sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happy, happiest moment of my life. Humans! I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans! What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things and drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them. But some, some of them, they don't. How'd you get back, Boodle? You did, you did it. And I'm glad you saw whatever whatever you wanted to see you had to pick experience now you can pick your your job and be normal well 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 i met someone you did will she be ish a wasp your parents would kill you no 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 not a wasp spider i'm not attracted to spiders i know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all i can't get by that face so, who is she? She's human. No, 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 no. That's a B-law. You wouldn't break the B a B-law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice. And she's a florist. Oh, no, you're dating, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive talking to humans that attack our homes. With power washers and M-80s. One ate a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. It's not over. What is? What was that? They called a crumb. It was so stinging stripy. And that's not what they eat. That's like what falls off what they eat. You know what Cinnabon is? No. It's a bread and cinnamon and frosting, and they heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We are us. We're us, and we're not them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There is no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? You got, I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You ba you're you barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's, ta your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything. All set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa. We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen! I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's B-ish. Have they... They have a huge... They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pet pe pe Pasadena dyslexia to be in a t tournament of roses that's every florist's dream up on a float surrounded by flowers crowds cheering a tournament do the roses complete in athletic events no all right i've got one how about how about you don't fly everywhere it's exhausting why don't you just run everywhere it's faster yeah okay i see i see all right your turn tivo tv though you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? Well, we have Hivo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh, my. Dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. Well, we try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So, you have to watch your temper. Very careful. You kick a wall, take a wall. Take a walk. Write an angry letter, throw it out. Work through it. Like an emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah. What? What's wrong with you? It's a bug. 
He's not bothering bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What is what was that? A pick and save circular. Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about ten pages. Seventy five is pretty much our limit. You've got that down to down to science. I got a lost co cousin to I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I bet. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did we get here? Quote quote B cute B Golden Blossom. Ray Lodana Private Select. Is that is is he an actor? I've never heard of him. Where is he? This is this is here. For people we eat it. You don't have enough food on your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole caraman thing. It's organic. It's our organic communism. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees just don't know. Just don't. Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to bottom to the bottom of all this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start and now you'll start talking. Where where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my enigma. In, 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 no, that's not incognito, you dumbass. In, in, na, go. Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible things, what horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what hit them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They'll, they will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I'm onto something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to tank come on. And you? He is really dead. He really is dead. Alright. Uh oh. What is that? Oh no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade? Jump on. It's your only chance, B. What does everything have to be so doggone clean? Why? How how much do people need to see? Open your uh, your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NP NPR News in Washington, I'm Oral. I'm Carl Cassell. Kass but don't kill no more bugs. Be moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? D like tiny screaming? Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Hey, blood. Just a row of honey honey jars. As the f as far as the cl as I could see. Wow. I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that's, that honey is, that honey's ours. Bees, tight hang, we're all jammed in. It's close, it's, it's a close community. Not us, man. We are, we are on our own. Every mosquito is on, is on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble? Nobody likes us. They just smack, they just smack. See a mosquito smack smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls, they, they, yeah. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a get with a moth, dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood, moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did y'all, did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain, the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker. 
Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas. The thumb. The thumb. Thomas or Thomas? I'm a dumbass. Smoker. 90 puffs a minute. Semi automatic. Twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They, they make the honey, we make the money. Oh my. What's going on? Are you okay? It does, yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here, we had no choice. This is your queen? This is a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no. There's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are talking, are taking our honey? That's a rumor. That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored, doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out? We do not. You wish you could. Who, whose side are you on? The bees. Bee? I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me all, up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with, a, with your life. I want to do... I want to do it for our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you. Coming home, so overworked. Your hands were... St- Still stirring, couldn't you couldn't stop? I remember that. What right do they have to take to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, we can. One, what can one be do? Sting them where it really hurts in the face, in the eye. That would hurt. No, up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting. The humans, one place where it matters. Hive at five. The hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards. With Bumble, with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Weatherstorm stinger. Sports with bros. Lavart, Lavart, larvae, lar. Stop being dyslexic. Larvae, and genetic. Ong, Chung. This text confuses me. Anyway, good evening. I'm Bob Bumble, and I'm Jeanette Ong. Still, text confuses me. A Tri County Bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting it from it illegally. Tomorrow night on B Larry on B Larry King. We'll have three farmer queens in here, in our studio, discussing their new their new book. Classy ladies. Out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm a kid from Hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B B Columbus, B Gandhi, B Jesus? Where I'm from, we don't. We never sue humans. We're thinking of stickball candy stores. Stores. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna take an eye break. My eyes are making me hurt. I'm sorry. I need to stop. But my eyes. I need to rub my eyes just for a little bit. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, halfway done. I'm so happy. Uh, where was I? I probably can find. I'll start here. Where I'm from, we never, we never sue humans. We're thinking, we were thinking of stickball, or, or of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The, the bee community is supporting you in this case, which will will be in the trial of our bee century. You know that they they have Larry, a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you. And has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes from bot from the guest, even though you just heard him. Bear week next week, they're scary, hairy, and here live. Always leans forward, 
pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the weakest. At eh, you attack at the weak at the point of weak at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's eighty-one. Honey, her backhand. It's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Yes, is that the same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello, B. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland size, ten and a half. Vivram soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, cause we're really busy working. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, Adam and Adam here. He's been a huge help. Frosting, how many sugars? Just one. I try not to use comp competition. So, why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloons, blue, balloon bouquets now. Those are great if if you if you if you're three, and artificial flowers. Oh, those just give me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stingers, point pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up it for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you don't want to go through with it? I am sure. When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home, without paying a royalty. It's, a, it's an incredible scene. Here in downtown Manhattan, we're where the world anxiety waits, because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What we've gotten into here, Barry, it's pretty big, isn't it? I can believe I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multi multi multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. So yeah, what's the matter? I don't know, I just got to chill. Well, if it if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this. All rise, Honorable Judge Bumble B Ben Bum Bumble President. Take hmm. All right, case number four four seven five. Superior Court of New York, Barry B Benson v. The Honey Industry is now in session. Mister Mon Monogantry. You represent. You represent. You're representing the five food companies collectively. Collectively, a privilege, Mr. Benson. You're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed, Mr. Monogab. I'm gonna have. I can't read that over and over again. If that's gonna be in the goddamn script so much. Anyway, Monogam Gum Tree. Your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grand my grandmother was a simple woman, born on a farm. She believed it was um it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature of ba the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy turvy world of Mr Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean what it mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm. For the elastic in my britches, talking B. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning, for all we know. He could be on steroids, Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we're little guys. I'm hoping that 
after this is all over, you'll see how taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he, he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witnesses. witness. So, first, so Mr. Claus, Vinder Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have, I suppose so. I see, also on Honey Burton and Hunron, yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, I find that a very to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, no, I couldn't hear you, no, no, because you don't free bees. You keep bees, not only that it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yoga bear, Fozzie bear, build a bear. You mean this? Bears kill bees. How do you like this? Head crashing, head crashing through your living room. How, how do you like his head crashing through your living room? Biting into your couch, splitting, splitting out your throw pillows. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the Police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. So, here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. You have... Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? I'm feeling a little stung. Sting. Or should I stay, Mr. Gordon M. Summer? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mrs. Loda first. Belated cl congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume, resume that you devishly handsome that you're devilishly handsome ha with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow I enjoy what I do is that a crime not yet it, it isn't but is this what it's come to for you exploding tiny helpless bees S so you don't how to rehearse your part and learn your line sir watch it Benson I could blow right now this is a. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. What doesn't? Why doesn't someone step on this creep? And we all can go home. Order in this court. All you're thinking, you're all thinking it. Order, order. I say, I say it, Mister Lo Lodo. Please sit down. I think the jury's on our side. Wait, no, I skipped a line. I think it's awfully nice of that bear to p pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side, and we are doing everything right. Legally? I'm a florist. Right? Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. But I tried to call the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. I'm sure. 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 Whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Ken, Bar Ken Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't, a really, isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. We have that in common. Do we? Bees have a hundred percent employment, but we do like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Can I I let Barry, Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that, Italian Vogue? Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Not for this video, it ain't. Ha! 
Remember what Van said. This is your life more valuable. Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug. Not taking sides. Can I'm wearing chaps a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing, am I? Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? I don't know. I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've ever met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? The, are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees. No yogurt at night. My nerves are fried from riding this emo on on this emo emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an art an aftertaste. I like it, but I always felt like there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe. Mr. Modern Gum Tree is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry B Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah, Layton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury, or it's gonna be all over. Don't worry. The thing I have to do is t is turn this jury around. Is to remind me of what they don't like about bees. You got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B. I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What is. What exactly is your relationship with that woman? To that woman? We're friends. Good friends. Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? Oh god. I've seen a bee documentary or two, from what I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an, an, alleg an eh, illegitimate... Alleg dyslexia is dumb. Illeg alleg alleg illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? Benson. He's the counting bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pun it, punk, pin cushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I've been felled with a wing, with a winged beast of beast of destruction. You see, you can treat them like equals. The striped savages. Stinging, the only thing that they know is their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my feel feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race. I took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of the one of their Legal team stung Leighton T. Monum Gontry. Hey, buddy, hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd better be off dead. Look at me. They've got it from the cafeteria downstairs in, in a tuna sandwich. Look there. Look. There's a little celery still on it. What was... It like to sting someone. I can't. I can't. I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline, and they, and then, it was all. It's it scats. It scats. I can't. I can't read. All right. You think it was, all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were you thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put. 
the roaches in, mo in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. Is it? It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done the step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin? Flamin yawn. Yes. Yes, Your Honor? Where's the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazard haphazardly. And as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard of a funny story about... Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow this absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges and my, against my clients, who run the legitimate business. I move for a couple decimal, decimal of this entire case. Mr. Flamin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Mo Monongantri's motion. But you can't. We have a ter terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it. Your Honor, you want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? This? This harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to the bees you've been asked, smoking or non. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcefully addicted to the smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Okay. Let me let my eyes rest, a f less rest for a bit. Okay, we're more than halfway done. I'm so proud of myself. I've been reading for 50 minutes. Oh my god. Eh, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to start at slat camps. I get. At man-made slat work camps. Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Free these bees. Free these bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free the bees. Free... The bees. Free... That's not... It didn't go on for that long. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. I'm okay. You know what this means. All of the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now, we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy preservation of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll, you'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater. This is Ralph. This is Ralph Lauren. I have no pant. I have no pants. It, what if Monogantry's right? What do you mean? We've been living in the B the B way a long time. Twenty seven million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? Settlement. First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then we want the honey that was ours to begin with, every last drop. We demand an end to glorification of the bear of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. What kind of bad insult is that? Anyway, we're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have a nauseous for he'll have nauseous he'll ha that doesn't make sense for he'll have not nauseous for a few hours then we'll be fine and we will have no lo and we will no longer tolerate be negative nicknames but it's just a prince about a ra about stage name Unnece unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products a lot of a lot of human tea time snack garnishes garnishments can't breathe Bring it. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. 
I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We never shut down. Shut down the honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What will we do now? What will we do now? Cannonball! We're shutting down honey production. Mission abort. Abort pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wanna you wouldn't believe how much honey was out, was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where's everybody? They're all out celebrating. They're home. They don't know what's what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least I got our honey back. Sometimes I think so. What if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be a part of a part be part of making it. This is this was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well, and now I can't. Well, now I can't. Now, I don't understand. Why? Why were they not happy? I thought their lives would be better. They're not doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey, pe honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you showed? What did you show me? This. What happened here? That that is not the half of it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh my. They're all writing. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And those whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees specifically me. I didn't think bees needed needing not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole SAT test right there. Take away pr produce. Take a f that a that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So, if there was no pollination, no more pollination, it could just go south here, couldn't it? So, this is also partly my fault. How about suicide pact? How about a suicide pact? How will we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me, that just kills you twice. Ever. Anyway, right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa? What? Why are you leaving? Where are you going? The final tournament. Rose Ro of Rose's Parade in Pen Pensadena. They've moved it out to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see. I'll have ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say, I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Tournament of Roses. Can't, can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses! Vanessa! Roses! Barry? Roses are flowers, yes. They are. Flowers! Bee! Bees! Pollination! I know. That's why it's, this is my last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry! Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it is kind It kind of is. I ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. With the flower shop, I've made it worse. It's, a, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea. It's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright. They have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. We all, we got it. All we got to do is get, is they've got to get back here what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation, tournament of roses, peninsula, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, cotton, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice br nice br brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just picked the right float. And how about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where would I sit? Where are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea, it goes under the mattress. 
Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fasco. Fa fa Let's see what it, what this baby will baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend with the traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there is no stopping us. Stop, security. You and your insect pack, packed, float, and you, your, your float. Yes, it has been in your possession the entire time. Would you remove your shoes? Remove your stinger? It's part of me. I know, having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the, do the job. I think it, this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours of delay. Barry, these were cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there. I gotta talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help? With the Sky Mall magazine? I like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer, Captain. I'm sh I'm I'm in a real situation. What do you say, Hal? Nothing. B. Don't freak out. My entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Ba oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit and please hurry? What happened here? There was a dustbuster, a toupee, a, li a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat. They're bo and they're both they're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is a JFK control tower, flight three five six. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. And so is the co-pilot. Co -pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the Honey Trial. Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines, I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolia, Travolia a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. This is Bob. This is this is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport. There's a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, that bear that's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with. With people, flowers, and his incapacitated and an inca in incapacitated flight crew. Flowers. We have a storm in the area, and two in individuals at at the controls. We have absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute. There's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson, and no account compet compet They have done damage. They they've done enough damage. But this, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of wings and body mass makes no sense. Get th get this on the air. Got it? Stand by. We're going live. The way we work be may be a mystery to you. Making honey just takes a lot of bees. Doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If we do it well, it makes a big difference, and we more than we recognize, more than we realized to us, to everyone. That's why I don't want to get the, get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. Oh, we get behind a fellow, black and yellow. Hello, turn right down, hover, hover, forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we're on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get this. Let's get behind this fellow. 
Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if we do, if what I, I do, you copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to tell. I'm not any, I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to c congregate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. 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 You snap out of it. All of that was supposed to be you snap about, out of it. I'm so sorry. You snap out of it. 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 Hold it. Why? Come on. It's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks. Do they get behind a fellow? Black and yellow? Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's cl It's all cloudy. Come on. You gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me. Like a 27 million year old instinct. Hmm. Bring the nose down. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay. Out the engines. We're going in. On B power ready, boys. Affirmative. Good, good. Easy. Now, that's it. Land on that flower. Ready? Bow reverse. Spin it around. Not that the flower. Not that the flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's the fat guy. That's the... That's a fat guy in the f in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower. Made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up. Rotate, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. I am a cuckoo kachu. Or is, it, or is this plane flying like an insect in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it. Now drop it in. Drop it. Drop it in. Woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes, no high five, right? Barry, it worked. Did you see that giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This runway is covered in... Is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're only, we're the only ones to make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're gonna survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? We are going to be bees, or just spelling error. Museum of Natural History keychains. We're bees, keychain. But then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here, you run this. Yeah, I'm a Valenjak. It's a perfect fit. I gotta go. I gotta do the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our Barry. Mom, bees are back. If any, if anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Can I help? Who's next? Who would you like honey with that? Is it be approved? Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese. It's all me. And I don't think, and I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Am I done? I'm done. I'm done. By the way, sorry for background noise. I really don't mean to have a lot of background noise right as this is ending, but um, I'm just going to thank you for watching to the end, and yeah, I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, or listening to this in the background, because if you watched me do this the whole time, congrats on you, love you, see you guys.